I was considering um, kind of so what this will be working towards is um, there's a contest that Sprout Records is having and it looks like they do contests like regularly from what I'm seeing I think um, but there's one that's the deadline's Monday. I don't know if it's 12 a.m. of Monday or if it's like 12 a.m. of technically Tuesday. Um, but the 20th is the deadline, I believe. Um, so that's like two days or three, depending on, depending on if it's 12 a.m. of Monday or 12 a.m. of Tuesday. And if you count today already being partially used up, anyway. Um, but, um, at first I didn't, I was kind of thinking of just, because I wasn't feeling like looking through the bags, um, I just, like, I just wasn't in, I think I maybe wasn't in the place for that, I just wasn't feeling that, um, but then... I did my 2020 Insight video for the day, and I, um, maybe I pressed upload or something, but then there was an NFL Street 2, I think it was an NFL Street 2, not one, but NFL Street 2 song that was like, um, that I still had up, I guess from, I don't, like, I don't know, maybe I listened to it earlier yesterday or something, and for some reason it was still there, because I haven't really, I, perhaps I didn't use my phone much yesterday, but, so that was there, so I just pressed play, and I can really feel the heart of, like, when I used to play those games um, through certain songs, if not all songs. I guess I don't know if it's all songs, but at least... So, like there's certain songs that I can, that you can that I can feel the heart of just what those experiences what or just what that was for me when I was younger, um, and it's a lot. It has for me like what all that was about was just like getting through stuff, but like. Because I, I feel like there's a time when I was younger that I was, like, going through a certain season. <laughs> so I guess technically even when I was younger, I did have, like, because there's greater seasons of difficulty <laughs> now that I'm older. But even when I was younger, I, I know there was one in the summer after 10th grade that I had a season of difficulty, and that was where I just, like, lost, like, for some reason my faith just, like, went away, like, one morning, basically. Now that I say that like that, that sounds really weird, but it was just, like, one more, because I had a thing to praise God every day, and then I think it was just, which is, that's, that's kind of weird now that I think about it, because I think it just was one morning that I just had trouble giving good praise or good like thankful commentary or good whatever good praise it didn't always have to be singing sometimes it could it just had to be like like praise hearted um i don't know that i necessarily always had singing but like and i had that as a thing that i had to do that before i ate every day so like i remember there is um that one morning, I guess that just went away, and then, um, and so there's kind of a, there's kind of a season of difficulty after that, that was interesting. But maybe also beautiful or good in a way, because that summer was also where I first ever discovered Naruto, because me and my brothers were in, um, New York, 
with my with our cousins and he had probably no probably a Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2 I'm guessing and I think we I think we may have watched maybe we watched Naruto with him maybe Ayo um was one of the cousins the other two the other two we end we didn't really talk with because of some weird thing when we were younger that I don't even really care about but um they told our parents about like the ratings on games and like that you know just about that thing and then for the time being our parent my our parents like I don't even know if my brothers were around for that or if that even was relevant to them um But so from that, there was just this distance that I didn't even actually, like, care about or whatever. There's still probably, di like, because we, I don't care, I never cared, like, maybe I cared what back then, like, when I was younger, but. Anyway, um. So, yeah, I mean, so it was, there's, that was a season, but like, that's, I mean, I, is, is there, is there not beauty there as well? Because like, Naruto and whatever else, building my faith back up so that I was able to give some kind of praise. Oh goodness. But then actually... But then that actually just transitioned into a worse season, I suppose. Wait. Right? Was that the precursor? Was that what led to all that 11th grade stuff? Which then led to, which then became 12th grade stuff, which was supposed to be better, but it was still trouble. We're still not perfect. And actually, I was kind of self-debating, I suppose, whether it's it was, whether that was connected to future stuff. But actually, first month of U of M and me committing, trying to commit suicide after that first month is also in relation to like faith stuff. And feeling like God wasn't there. Which leads to North Henry Community College because I was out of U of M. And then my parents wanted me to go to a four year college. And out of the colleges of Metropolitan State University, St. Cloud, or MSUM. MSUM had that uh, Dragon Tracks thing, and that really caught my interest. But I didn't get to do that. Because the year, the, and there's a summer that I literally prepared songs for 
to have so that I'd be ready to have like an album thing. Because the thing with Dragon Tracks at MSUM was that like, and they changed it, but initially it was that like they'd help you like make an album, um, something like that. And then, but the year that I um, ended up being a part of Misa, which was like the program that that's connected to, I suppose. And it's like music and entertainment industry student association is what I'm guessing. That might not be exactly it. That's kind of just a guess with <laughs> the letters that are in the acronym, but um, the year that I was a part of MISA, which I don't know if that's a requirement to, for the Dragon Tracks thing, but I was a part of, kind of a part of it, I believe, I think. Um, I didn't end up winning. O'Shea did. <laughs> um, but even that year, it was just, I think it was just that they do like a song. Maybe more than a song, maybe like a few songs, but I think it might have just been a song potentially. And then they even had like a, like some kind of show. Um, and I don't know if that was open to, I don't know if I could have been a part of that show. But at least for the getting a song, um, didn't get that. And I spent that summer like working on different things. I think that I think that summer might be where for any for anyone and for anyone and everyone came from. Um, There's a huge, this huge thing that I worked on that I found out wasn't even an original by this one dude that I worked with at Wendy's that was really like in depth and I still have it, but it's so tailored to the twists and turns of a certain beat. So it would only work with that beat and I can't even find, I don't even know if I'd be able to find that beat. I'd have to like try to find that person and be like hey do you still have this beat because i had thought it was an original and it wasn't an original but at this point even if I could just get the beat and just put it on youtube or something but then i'd have to remember all the flow or all the ins and outs because it's very that beat is like its own is like a it's it's not a normal it's like a story it's half like a, not fully a story, but like you could half say that kind of. Um, but that's what got me interested in MCM. That came to MCM. Dragon Tracks didn't end up, obviously, like I said, didn't end up working out, but. Then graduated from MSUM, and then is either go back home to parents, and I think they wanted me to come back home, and I but I wanted to stay in the area, and then had to look for a job. I ended up finding. Ended up checking out the YMCA and found AmeriCorps. And despite, and even though, like, a lot of stuff happened off of that, there's good that happened off of that, too. One, that's the best, like, I got to really, like, the kids, like, to have that kind of experience with kids. Um develop those kind of bonds to have that kind of experience like a place where it's appropriate to like have bonds with kids because otherwise like if you just meet like little timmy and like his parent or something like you're at least for me like i'm always like worried about like that it'll like something will come across a weird way like but to actually form bonds in a place and like and yeah, that it got stressful sometimes, but and the first year was kind of rough with like the people I was working with and coworkers are always 
coworkers, roommates, parents, significant others, right? Not that I have significant other experience, but there's a certain certain uh certain bonds that or situations that uh easily become difficult or can be difficult um and like out of that came the ban from Furco series and out of that came thanks to Will Friesen and Karina Stoneman's input at points or thanks to their input not necessarily at points maybe they only talked about it once Will and I would have talked about something in relation to that series probably more than once. Karina actually maybe more than once, but, um, so maybe, but at some point there, like, something they said towards, like, or something they said inspired, and they're two different people that probably don't know each other, but kind of inspired an idea, um... And it may be that I, like, came up with the idea off of something they said. Actually, that is essentially what happened. Because they didn't say, like, make a compact rap form. But they said, but basically, the idea that, like, I can't remember exactly what they said. But, because I remember Will saying something about, like, Band from Forever was more for was like all that was more for me, which I disagree with because it's right. I'd say I disagree with like, it's for you 2020 insight. <laughs> that ish is for me. Fast forward into the future to these days, that ish is more so for me, but also for you, if you find something out of it or if some, if it helps you. And that's what I always say in the description. Um, but that is supposed to be like, Everything in heartfeltization is essentially for, like, is for, like, you, I think I, I want to say. Um, I don't know, that's what he, that's what he thought, though, but who knows, maybe he's right, but I, maybe he's right, but I don't. Everything I want, everything's supposed to be for, like, everything is for whoever can, whoever can get something out of it. Um, but yeah, so, like... And anything can happen to anyone, that series, that ish is powerful, even though my hair is weird and there's stuff in my beard some, sometimes, but the stuff in that is so potent. And even in Band from Furco, Furco like, Cardiac Arrest, that ish, because I had to re-watch, I made myself re-watch all the original videos to make anyone can have, any, to make anything can happen to anyone videos. So each day I'd watch a band from Furco video and then make an Anything Can Happen to Anyone video. I was supposed to be like inspired by that, but sometimes it also ended up being stuff from how I was feeling in life at that day or whatever. So. Um. And then after all that, you know, YMCA stuff, um, or actually not what at the, in the after effects or the after year of it, which was a year that God was so present. And I wish I, the way my memory works is weird because I just remember how like stuff makes me feel and not like the stimuli or like the, the original things. So I just, I mean, there's one thing that I can definitely <laughs> focus on like one specific weekend but that year, I just remember God, like, God did, God was very around, it's perhaps unfortunate that my memory works, 
the way it does in this instance because I can't remember all the specific things per se. But at the same time, in another time or another thing, it could be great that my memory works that way. But so, um, but then what happened April 10th, which was actually Kingdom Hearts related, um, for for the main of it or for part of it, goodness gracious, like God is a master of timing. That's one thing that I learned maybe at the end of a uh, there's a short story that I wrote as a capstone project for my writing minor for creative writing and it's called Blessing and it's actually I read it in one of the band from Furco vid videos that is same titled um, that's called Blessing um, like I read the whole like short novella or whatever and, and hopefully I do it okay the way I read it um, but um towards the end of that in fact the, the in fact actually the very end of that might be like the very the last poem or the last whatever might actually end with there's one more thing I'll say in this last line of rhyming Something, something, something. God is a master of timing. I don't know. So, something roughly <laughs> like that is kind of how it might go. That actually might be like the last thing. Or the last point or whatever of the whole thing. And like, yeah. From what God did in 2016 around April 10 and all that. Or on April, the weekend of April 10. Yeah, God's a master of timing. <laughs> If, if if we're going off of that, not even, and to be a master of timing in that way also requires control over, shows a control over me because, like, how, anyway, it just, it shows control over certain things, um, and actually, yeah, control over me so that things ha ended up happening on a certain day so that it was all court, like, so things panned out the way they did. Like, Jesus really, like, on his stuff when he wants to be. Maybe all the time when we just can't see. Um, and then... Four years from that April 10, we have this April 10, and this was also a loaded April. Again, this dude, like, I maybe didn't think about it as seriously, but again, this might be another master timing thing because, like, me, so me fit getting to a thousand videos on hard feltization, which is a, like, basically the most important milestone like sometimes on facebook i'll put like when uh that eminem rap reaction part two video gets to like six thousand views or when it gets to a certain you know like when it reaches a new thousand or whatever i've kind of done that but besides that like as far as like video count like a thousand is pretty much because like I've said in other videos, like, 10, like, anything else doesn't really, unless I got to, like, a million, which isn't gonna happen, like, 10,000, 100,000, they're all, they're all, like, they're just variations, there's still thousand, like, you know, once you re that reach thousand, though, that's a thing, and me reaching a thousand, um, is around, or me reaching, um, Wait, but so so the thing so me reaching a thousand happened around so April tenth was on a Friday, um, and obviously it's video, so I can control 
like how many you know unless unless i just happened to finish a thousand and be like oh wow it's april 10 but like i knew like days before kind of what the situation was but so but so what still makes it something is that like the 2020 insight videos were also almost at a hundred which normally actually is as far as i normally go on as far as length of a series um because from will and also from my dad i think i'd like agreed with them that like a hundred would be the cap <laughs> um so so like there's no there's no series that's gone over a hundred um and actually technically i guess a hundred days of freestyling may have a part two a part one or part two at some point but then i deleted one of those i think maybe did i do wait did i oh oh i forgot about oh huh i forgot about that um i think for the hundredth there's different there might be different parts in 100 days of freestyling that have a part one and part two here and like it may happen once or more than once but i think what happened for the hundredth video is that technically i wanted to rap for like an hour or freestyle for an hour and then i think technically it was like 59 minutes or something because i went off the wrong timer the wrong time thing um so then i think i tried to make a second video where i don't know if i i don't think that one was me doing like a whole another hour but like it was another like freestyle to kind of just make up for that maybe and I ended up just, so I, okay, so I think I did end up getting rid of that second one, if I'm not mistaken. And also, <laughs> that 100th video was straight out of Compton inspired. Like, that was kind of the fuel, if I recall correctly. So, so Friday was April 10th, and I knew, like, maybe Tuesday or so. And what's also interesting is, like, a week or two before that, actually just the prior, like, week or so, perhaps, before the week of April 10th and kind of all this stuff, was a rough, that's quarantine queasiness. The, that series that was a rough week that was a challenging week that i that i got through that we got through so and then lo and behold the next week holds beauty you know like even tuesday after that week was like maybe even monday but i remember t either tuesday or monday or both but maybe more so tuesday Maybe both to some degree. It was like beautiful day and like and then like I said, like or like I think I said April ten, even even Easter, April twelve also had some stuff. So it was it was interesting, like because none of the other Easter's in between two thousand sixteen's April ten and this April ten have had like really special stuff I don't think but this one was special like 2000 I mean 2016's was had like very like it had its own thing but like this also had its you know maybe not that exact master of timing type thing but then at the same time with this whole thousand video thing so with that i mean that could kind of be actually because so earlier in the week 
realized via maybe a 2020 insight video or actually maybe a video I thought was going to be a 2020 insight video which I actually made a a video for the heartfeltization series there's a self-titled like heartfeltization series that shares the name of the YouTube channel that I started a month or so ago or whatever um and Um, and yeah, so I think for one of those, I like was just realizing like, oh, I'm reaching a thousand videos. Um, and like, I should probably figure out what I want to do. Like, do I want to be done? Should like, or, and I even had an idea of like doing videos after, but it, but considering like at a thousand videos being like the death of heartfeltization in a sense, um, but there'd still be videos after. Um, which actually could could work well for like a certain series that I'm thinking of or that I've thought of. Um, and so It was just, at, at, so what I realized though is because 2020 insight videos are every day. Um, and so I realized that I, if I want to get, I think if I wanted to get to a thousand, and it, and the other thing is that like 2020 insight was like nearing because by, because April 10 is Friday, Thursday is where a 2020 insight would reach 100. So if I want to decide whether I want to continue the, because the, one of the things I've thought of or like what I've been thinking was doing a 2020 insight video every day this year. Um, it's different than last year where I could only make a video a day. Essentially, there was one day where I made like a backup video in case the original video would have to, might have to be taken down. Like if the person connects to that, maybe you didn't want it up or something. So there's a backup video. But besides that, there's only one video allowed like a day this year. It's a video every day, at least so far via this 2020 insight stuff. But then I can also make as many videos as I want. Um, and so the 100th day since 2020 insight is day by day would be on thursday so if i want to not break this day by day thing i would have to decide on april 10 like that's when that would have to because 100th video happens on thursday that's fine if you're done you're done but kind of thing but like if you want to make that 101st video, you have to make it by some time on April 10 for that day by day streak to not be broken. Um, so I realized that I'd have, so I think one realization that happened at some point is that I'd have to make that decision on April 10 for like, cause that otherwise the streak would be broken. Um, or like that's what would have to happen to continue the streak. Um, so, and then so with that, so it's so I guess it is kind of a. I don't know if it's. I still don't know if it's at the same level. It maybe it is actually. I don't know. Um, maybe maybe it actually. Maybe I don't know. Maybe not. But maybe because there is time involved in this that there'd be a 2020 inside video because otherwise if there was no like thing like that I can make videos whenever you know if like it wouldn't make it have to end up it's it's because there's a series that is day by day timed that stops the day before master of timing April 10 so like and for that, I would have to decide if I want to continue. And since a thousand videos is is like the only like milestone for like video count, as far as I'm concerned, besides like a million and um, I should also like 
So it just ended up being between because of 2020 insight being near it's 100 because of being near a thousand that's like i should figure out like if i want to be done with if a hundred or a thousand videos is going to be the cap of this um it just things could just kind of kind of correlated to that a decision would have to be made so i um Yeah, and yeah, um, what was interesting because April tenth was. I don't even know if April 10th, if there's anything really horribly amazing that happened April 10th. Maybe, oh, okay, maybe, I don't know. But April 12th, Easter, is when stuff really, like, popped off, I feel like. Um, oh, wait, April 10th did have, did have some, because April 10th ended up being when I finished the, that Fast and Furious Netflix series finish the latter half of a, po a Pokemon movie that I'd started like a week or so prior and actually finishing the end of that is what motivated me to or what gave inspiration for making that 101st video because I was kind of like in a point because I was disappointed with the 1000th video that that's what came about because I the video that I did eventually make um the 42 fortitude um IB5, which maybe I'll rename to just B5, um, but I had tried to do that on April 10, and then it didn't, I tried to upload it not in the, my cell phone storage, but like on the direct YouTube recording or whatever, and it didn't save, so that didn't end up happening, and then, but the file was still kind of there, but just on, in the wrong format or something, and I didn't, so... Um, so then, and then the video that I did make cut, even though in a sense it cut at a good point, but in a sense, like, that's the a thousandth video, like, I want it to be something, you know, like, special or good. I just watched That's So Raven this morning. That's definitely connected to my past heart. So I got Disney Plus back. And Jen, the person that I talked to on the phone from Disney Plus support or whatever, just her mannerisms or her voice just so was so beautiful that like, I was just, this person that I don't even see, like I'm just, just had a powerful beauty about her. And if something trivial, like a phone call, carry something so enormous or something so potent what memories lie in the past that are meaningful that are lost
and unimportant things that we remember. I'm worried about stuff with kids. Um, as far as like me and kids. And that's something that I've kind of been battling for a while. And I don't know because there's one thing at this point in my thinking of it there's one thing that's concerning but even but then like yesterday I was thinking about it and like because I I am self-sabotaging in my thoughts of myself like I don't, I like I make, I almost like make myself worse than I am to make sure that it's truth, I think. When I, sometimes with myself. And that's actually what the 100th uh, 2020 Insight video ended up being about. The 100th 2020 Insight video was a good ending or would have been, except that there's three, there are three variables that for some reason I didn't think about at the time. Like three not, like, like potentially, and in context, that would have been fine. But then to like, come back and to not put it in that context would be difficult. I guess context really matters for stuff. Either context or the person that's getting, the recipient has to be discerning and people are not discerning like that. People people are interesting. Sometimes in good ways, sometimes in bad ways. Sometimes the darkness hides in the light. And sometimes the light is in the darkness. But the thing that that concerns me is that 
there's a child that is there's different children that are that are that are special to me and actually all children are are special right because there's i mean there's children with autism there's children with i guess i haven't even thought about this in this capacity but like let's say let me self ask myself this there's children with autism there's children that have physical deformities there's children that aren't like per se beautiful at least physically just like there's women that aren't perhaps physically beautiful but they could be beautiful inside and i focus so much on physical beauty is such a thing with me um would those children also be beautiful I, I, I think with that, it comes to the same thing that is with all humans in that potential can be there, light can be there. In fact, the struggles that they face will give them a brighter inside light, potentially, or I, I would think it should. It's just like in other cultures, how... Um, how I feel like other cultures have better character than us. I mean, there's 195 other countries, so not every, perhaps not every single one of them, but it also depends on the person or the, you know, whatever, person, city, maybe, state, maybe, whatever, but um, I feel like other cultures were and in some cases, maybe that breeds worse humans, but we, I don't know. In some cases, having t tough difficulties like that can make worse humans. Actually, that that must actually be the case for, for some people. It either makes you into a better person or a worse person. Have my difficulties made me into a... Oh, that's a good question. Have my trials made me a better person or a worse person? I don't... Uh, I don't even want to... I don't know. Because I, I, I was more pure before. Right? like the heart connected to when I watched all this Disney Channel stuff when I praise God every morning because I don't do that anymore which isn't by like I isn't by like even though it's a commitment to do it every day and do it before I eat every day it's it kind of it's what's come up. It's not like, um, it's not a failure. Like, it's not like I was supposed to do it every day and then just failed. Like, it started with one month in 11th grade that it, or one day in 11th grade that it felt like what was the right, or felt like I went with what I felt. Um, and then a month later, like, it felt like I, like I should, I, I guess I just ended up starting again. I go, I'm in life, I go with feelings or like guidances or whatever. And I still have remnants of that stuff from 11th grade. Um, I don't know if that's God or if that's something else. I don't, but it's so like interconnected with my inner decision making or inner whatever. And I don't even know, like, what is the reality of all well, this inner guidance or inner whatever that I feel. Um, but anyway, um, but the, it's just that there's a more pure self, unless I'm over 
like thinking overly highly of it. Um, I don't know. It just that heart that is connected to Disney Channel shows and whatever else like that sort of even just seems like a more pure heart. But I don't know. And all these trials, maybe I've developed strength or something good. That's not like a pure, carefree Disney heart, per se, but perhaps something good will or has come out of the challenges that I've faced. even this child concern stuff that I'm talking about. So, so the concern is that with one of these children that like I've like hung out with her, her siblings and her, and her mother. Um, but so at the Y there is a leader who did this thing where like he like, and, and the, in school age, the kids that we work with are young, so they would have been like four. Actually, oh wow, because they okay first between like first and sixth sixth grade is that how far we went? Something like that, roughly like first to sixth grade, and so. But and he was a and he's a great leader, like great like good person like he's like, he's good. <laughs> Like he's not, he's not um, questionable as far as I would think. Um, and he was a great, like, if I haven't said so already, he was a great leader. Like he was confident. He was one of the best white leaders. Um, but what caught my attention one day is that like there is a female child, and he like put his hands right on her chest area. And this just has stuck with me because, and I'm a person that like c can get fixated on things, um, whether it's stuff that bothers me in life as far as like fixing them, maybe that's not the same thing, or maybe it'll watch, I don't know, but that at least that would count as far as fixating, I guess, maybe, um, but, but this just is, because I wouldn't think that something that like is okay like is okay or i mean like maybe and it's like it's not it's it's not that it's like a, oh wow he did it's that like that that is okay because like because if they don't have anything there then that would be fine but he usually it just wasn't there's no word like whereas i would not feel comfortable Like, like I have so much where I've talked about child concerns so many times and I mean, not, maybe not so many times, but I keep touching on that topic. Like I have concern, like if it's not from working at the Y, like if it's just random kids, like I'm like, even scared, like I don't even interact with kids much, even though there's so much, um, that I could give or so much love that I could give. There's so much like there but i'm just scared to and he the, like saying so, you could if you if you happen to like keep running into those videos which who pays attention to this stuff that much to be able to see all that but like he just he had such con like he was he had no worry or stress about that to be able to put his hands on like a female child's chest which if she doesn't have anything there that's fine and like at fifth, like, at si sixth grade or less, like, so it was, it 
is interesting. I don't have that kind of confidence. Like, I'm. The Y was a place where it's like appropriate to interact with children. So, like, love and connection was able to grow. And I may not have another. I mean, who knows if I'll have another. Actually, no, I have met a dope child actually after that. Like, there's so there's a little girl that taught me to. Alright, maybe I shouldn't say little, but like, there's a girl that taught me to floss, that taught me. that introduced me to your lie in April. Um. So, and who else? And then I, I met another friend's child. Um, and another child she's connected to, but I haven't seen that child for a while. And actually, I never like really got to know that other child and her direct child. I haven't had like a lot of interaction with. Um, But yeah, it's, it's interesting how like that leader can feel just completely comfortable and me like I just don't I'm just worried because the culture has such worry about, about stuff with kids, which I mean makes sense, right? But then doesn't that that stuff doesn't that stuff happen worse or even like that stuff happens in other countries too. I don't know if it'd be worse. It might even be worse. And yet, do they have the level of just distrust to to strangers that we ha that we have? But then I know in like elementary school, there is a there is um a peer when I was in elementary school or no when I actually no or what was that? Elementary or was that junior high? In elementary or junior high, I suppose there is a there is someone that in our class or or school because I guess maybe we had different classes at that point. I'm guessing it was junior high, but there's a girl that, if the story was correct, had been like e either raped or like something had been done to her because her mom like had a stranger like babysit her why would that be like what's up when oh gosh <laughs> I mean, not that, who knows, because uh, as far as my brain, I don't think my brain accurately analyzes myself, but who knows, maybe I'm a monster too. My brain doesn't accurately analyze myself, but there is at least something to analyze it. Like, there is at least some base to my concern in regards to children within myself um, but then I could actually be encouraging, supporting helping children in the world instead of playing with myself. I just, oh, am I a monster? Oh, am I not? Like, end of the day, I'm good. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Um, that's, yeah, at the end. But anyway, the concern, though, is that, so I talked about the thing with the leader, um, and so with... Uh, one one child that I met originally, 
through the wire that I had one one of the strongest bonds with as sort of a like in dealing with all this self concern with myself I think it was supposed to be like sort of like a test for myself that like because at this age after all this time because when I worked with the like the Y was like 2000 2015 or something so this is like five years later so actually she probably would have something there at this point but the thing was like to just like let myself be myself and and to kind of like see what I do or if I'm a monster and just like let that be um and so and so but then I think and then I think the like potential action is like along the is it became like became something along the lines of like touching the chest but at this point you would have something there so like to see if I would do that um like touching like if like if she had something there so that would be the like kind of I think that was supposed to be like a like kind of like cuz it's it's toward, like instead of being afraid of oh I could be the or like being afraid and stuff to just be I think was the is the mentality or was the mentality which actually is true like I can't just be like living in like fear of but then I think but I think like I to like twist things in memory of like what the original purpose is because or like what the reality of all this uh, is and like or my original intentions with or like just and lose it over time so that it becomes morphed into something like that's bad when originally it either it wasn't that per se or wasn't what I'm now thinking or picturing of it as because now it's like almost an image of like me just like touching her boobs or something and or like um, like squeezing or something and like one the whole original thing of the and this is where when I thought about this yesterday it's like if there's a devil that's where this could play into stuff actually, actually pretty well um, because the original thing was that there's a leader that I saw that had such comfort with that and then it was supposed to be that if there's nothing like I think the original thing was supposed to be like if there is nothing there then that's okay or no? Or at least, if nothing else, the thing with is that is that this whole started off of someone touching like a female child's chest when there's probably nothing there, and that's what started that this. So like, and me like I can have like a so obviously this is developed into something else, but like. I think it, I think it gets I think it got morphed. I, like that's what I thought about yesterday. Because now if I'm now if I'm seeing having a self understanding or seeing an image of me like like squeezing a child a child's boobs or something, that's morphed from what the original thing was. It's like it's becoming like negative more. And then I think that this is me. is it me or did something like is is if it's me then like that and that would definitely that would count as concern but is it me or is it that like stuff has gotten morphed over time and i'm judging myself by what it got morphed into which isn't even and that there is morphing going on i i feel like Like, is this whole thing even real? All this concern about stuff with kids when I'm, like... Because even if something were to happen, with my honesty level and, like, just, like, how I operate, like, that's some... There, there's... Chances are, like, I'm just someone that doesn't really, like, hide stuff. Like, I'm even talking about this right now, even though it's an hour deep into a video, so, like, this is hidden in a but um 
have I just been like is this whole thing like not even real? Like there is a basis to it that I feel that I can feel stuff down there in relation to children. But I can also feel it in relation to friends, pets, and also when I'm in a candy aisle getting too much candy. So it's not just the relation. And I also to my at least currently like I don't feel sex like. Then again, I'm not even much of a se like sex person. Even like even with like woman like i just want love hugs and cuddles for the most part there there are times like in the last with pornography i can definitely i definitely become sexual with por sexual with pornography but like with girls that i'm interested in like i'm just trying to like like it's not sex isn't isn't my focus ever so like or not maybe not ever but i'm not sex i'm like love folk like cuddle hugs like and there was, there was a friend that I cuddled with, and then, like, it got to a point of, like, feeling, like, like, more, like, starting to move towards, like, considering stuff like that. Um, but normally I don't. So I just, I wonder, I wonder how accurately I see myself. Because if that was a thing of, like, if that's actually a thing of, like, squeezing a child's boobs or something, like, then that is, like, that, that's, that's potential concern, like, that's, you know, that's a thing, but, like, is, is this whole thing even real? Have I, and then by, like, talking, am I just making it bigger, making something that's nothing, into more and more and more. And like there was there was that time that like I mean there there are other like l little things that like and I've talked about them in different videos. There are other little things too, but at this point um actually one of one thing actually might not even be like a little well Actually, at least it's it's a le legit concern, I think. Potent, like, there's another, like, legit concern. I've already talked about that. This is the one that I'm, like, focused on right now. This is, like, the main concern right now. But all in all, I think I'm actually... I might just... This all might just be a lie. That's just growing. I need to accurate. I maybe I need to accurately see myself. And if there are legit concerns, then there then there are legit concerns. But I think I'm just. If there is a devil, which then this this is his game. But anyway, I did, um, because that NFL Street 2 song, um, came on, I think that's what gave me motivation to actually look through the bags, um, and, and after that song played, other songs played, there's the one after it was from NFL Street or NFL Street 2, maybe NFL Street 2, would be my guess, but one of them, and then after that there was at least one other song that wasn't NFL Street related. Actually, there are two, two Joyner Lucas songs. One of them just him, one of them with him and Tory Lanez. That might have just been, so two NFL Street, two, I think, songs. If not, one, or, one of them might have been NFL Street or something. But two NFL Street related songs, whether it's NFL Street one or two, and then two Joyner Lucas songs. Um, I think that all might be all that played, but um, but yeah, I looked through 
perhaps. And and I did actually end up having to look inside, which I thought I wouldn't have to do. So I don't know if that. I think I think I did have a hard point. Um, amidst that of just remembering, yeah, I did, and and actually one of the, one of I don't know if it was one or more points, but like the one of the points that I remember included something I didn't even actually go in and look at. How much was that I remember it exists in that red backpack um, of what the counseling program dismissal form. Um, one thing that that counseling program dismissal form contained, and it's actually in relation to like, I can't remember how it's worded, but it's from a paper that I'd written. They said something about like concern about, um, or like something about like women and children that I, that they or with me and like women and children or something off of a paper, or at least that's what they said it was from, is from a paper, and I read that paper, and I think I can understand a little bit more, like, where they might, like, come from with one of the things said, but, like, if you actually look into the heart of, like, what's said in that paper, I read, I read through it, so, it, I mean, it makes... But then I didn't look through again what they said in the dismissal form. So if I read that again, I might again be like, how could they? Maybe. But at least in just reading the paper, the beginning thing, like one of the beginning paragraphs, I could see how like, oh, that could come up. That could uh, be a thing. Kind of, or it could, I could kind of see something. Or I could see something, I guess. I could kind of see something. I don't know. I could see how that could be concerning or weak or um, potentially. Um, but it depends who's actually able to look into the heart of the paper, which I would think wouldn't be that hard. Sometimes write messages to people in messenger or text or something or email. Sometimes stuff doesn't get through to me when I don't understand. How not? If only people knew how to see. But it looks like I don't have the PS2. You never know, there's still some kind of stuff can still pop up and I've had I've had stuff that I couldn't find pop up before. So it's you never know, but as far as my looking doesn't seem to be there. <laughs> 